The heat of the Scottish sun beats down on the west coast. A clear blue sky in Oban, the gateway to the Isles. Daily life goes on as normal, but in towns, cities and villages across Scotland, decision time is almost here. Oban is the seafood capital of Scotland, so we start in the harbour to taste the mood. Hopefully things will change for everybody, for the best, hopefully. Whatever the outcome. Whatever the outcome, because it can't stay the way, the way it is just now. If we don't get it, we've all still got to live together. We've got to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off and carry on. But hopefully people of Scotland will choose the right thing and it'll be, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe end the moment. On the hill above the town, both sides have made their mark and had their say. As the campaigns close, the polling stations will open and these pupils at Oban High, aged 16 and 17, will vote for the first time, shaping their country's future. I'm really nervous, but um, I'm just hoping it does go the way I want because I'm really uncertain of what's going to happen once it's done. Do you know, I'm actually rather undecided, but I think I'm veering towards no. Um, but again, because of today, it's, I'm getting so many different arguments and I feel like you say one thing and you get contradicted. It doesn't feel real and I am so scared. It's just, I really don't want a no vote. I will cry. <laughs> You will cry. I will cry. That's a vow. Calm waters in Oban with one last day to think. Tomorrow, finally, the choice for our voters. Does Scotland go it alone or maintain the union that stood for centuries? Peter Lane, 5 News.